Hello and welcome back to the lecture series on complex analysis. Today we are going to learn about analytic functions. First the definition of analytic function. So a complex function w is equal to fz is said to be analytic at a point z naught if f is differentiable at z naught and at every point in some neighborhood of z naught. Okay. So what we are saying here is that uh, any function fz is set analytic at some point z naught if the derivative of function at this point exists and in addition there is some neighborhood of this z naught such that in that neighborhood at every point the function has a derivative so the function will be called analytic at a point if it is differentiable at that point plus there is at least one neighborhood at that point such that function is differentiable inside every point of that neighborhood okay so what it follows is that uh, if f is analytic at the point z naught it must be analytic at each point in some neighborhood of z naught okay because uh, at each point of the neighborhood the function is differentiable and then we can draw on those points at least a neighborhood of distance from that point up to z naught And finally, a function f is said to be analytic in the domain D if it is analytic at every point in that domain D. Okay. That means at every point we can draw a neighborhood such that every point inside that neighborhood is differentiable. Okay. For example, consider this function fz is equal to mod z square. We have already taken this example in previous lectures. And uh, this function is differentiable only at origin. Okay. So if this is differentiable only at origin then if at origin we draw a neighborhood of any size there will be points in the neighborhood where the derivative will not exist okay and so the function is not analytic because we need that at every point in the neighborhood the derivative should be there okay so this function fz is equal to mod z square is nowhere analytic okay so this is one example. So we will take another example say. Uh, consider this function uh, fz is equal to 2x square plus y plus i times y square minus x. Okay. So here uh, function fz is u plus iv where u is 2x square plus y and v is y square minus x. So uh, let us check whether uh, the function fz is analytic at any point or not. Okay. So say we write the u function and we write the v function. So first thing we will check whether uh, cauchy riemann equations are satisfied for this or point or not. Okay. So uh, we will calculate the derivatives. Partial derivative of u with x is 4x. Partial derivative of u with y is 1. Partial derivative of v with x is minus 1 and partial derivative of v with y is 2 times y. Okay. So the cauchy riemann equations which is partial derivative of u with x will be equal to partial derivative of v with y if 4x is equal to 2y. Okay. So that means 2x equals y. And the partial derivative of u with y is minus of v with x that is automatically satisfied. That means the cauchy riemann equations will be satisfied if 2x equals to y. That means the CR equations or cauchy riemann equations are satisfied along this line because this will be equal to this number which gives this line. Okay, And because these partial derivatives are uh, uh, polynomials so they are continuous functions. So cauchy riemann equation hold along this line partial derivatives are continuous that means this function is differentiable along this line only. Okay, the, this function has derivatives 
on every point on this line 2x is equal to y which is a straight line and at any point which is outside this line the Cauchy Riemann equations are not satisfied that means function is not differentiable outside this line okay now if we talk about analyticity then uh, if we take any point on this line then uh, the function can be analytic only if we draw a neighborhood at that point and uh, at every point in the neighborhood the function should be differentiable so it's a straight line if you take any point on this and draw a neighborhood then some points in the neighborhood will be outside the line where function is not differentiable that means the analyticity or the function cannot be analytic at any point just because if we draw any neighborhood at any point on this line then there are points which are not on the line and at those points the function derivative do not exist so this function fz is not analytic at any point even when it has derivative along this line okay so the function fz is nowhere analytic in this case also okay. so i take one more definition and uh, we'll check analyticity of this entire functions okay so a function that is analytic at every point z in the complex plane is said to be an entire function okay so this definition is uh, very simple that uh, to be an entire function function must be analytic uh, throughout the complex plane okay say for example uh, polynomials okay so if you have a polynomial and then polynomials are differentiable and the, the partial derivatives are continuous so polynomial functions uh, satisfy CR equation and they are differentiable anywhere everywhere so they are analytic everywhere and hence they are called entire functions okay. for example if fz is this function which is cos hyperbolic x cos y plus i sin hyperbolic x sin y okay then uh, this is the u part u is cos hyperbolic x cos y v is sin hyperbolic x sin y let us check the cauchy riemann equations again so u derivative x will be x derivative which is sin hyperbolic x cos y and u derivative y will be cos hyperbolic x and derivative of this is minus sin y okay similarly uh, v derivative x is cos hyperbolic x sin y and v derivative y is sin hyperbolic x cos y so you can easily check that ux which is sin hyperbolic x cos y and vy which is sin hyperbolic x cos y they are just same okay? and similarly u derivative y is minus of v derivative x so Cauchy Riemann equations are satisfied for every point z and because partial derivative these are continuous so the function is differentiable everywhere and uh, so the function is analytic everywhere and hence we can say that this function is an entire function okay uh, third definition is uh, if a function f fails to be analytic at a point z0 okay? so if function is not analytic at any point z0 but is analytic at some point in every neighborhood of z0 then z0 is called a singular point or singularity of f okay so if you know that the function is not analytic any at any point z0 but if you draw any neighborhood okay if you draw any neighborhood at this point okay then in that neighborhood there is at least one point okay, in which function is analytic then the point z0 will become a singularity of, for this function okay we'll just see for example function fz is equal to 1 by z okay so it is differentiable everywhere except at z0 okay and uh, 
so function is not analytic at z0 okay, because it is not differentiable there and at every neighborhood point if you uh, draw uh, any neighborhood at origin okay so it will contain points outside origin and for every point in the neighborhood the derivative is there analytic city is there so this point automatically becomes a singular point for this function okay say the function fz is equal to mod z square on the other hand has no singular point no singular point just because this function we have already said is nowhere analytic okay it is nowhere analytic it is nowhere analytic because this function is differentiable only at origin and if it is differentiable only at origin then at origin we cannot find a neighborhood with at least one analytic point okay so it is not analytic and if it is nowhere analytic then it cannot have any singular point because definition says that any point will be singular only if we can draw a neighborhood such that at some point it is analytic uh, the function fz is equal to z cube plus 4 over z square minus 3 into z square plus 1 okay so this function is polynomial divided by polynomial so it is analytic okay throughout the z plane except the points at the bottom okay uh, this z square minus 3 is equal to 0 z square plus 1 is equal to 0 okay so those points are z is equal to plus minus root 3 and z is equal to plus minus i i so at these points the function is not analytic and everywhere else it is analytic so these points are singular points for the function so you can see that here also the denominator point z0 is a singular point similarly uh, the points which makes the denominator 0 are actually the singular points okay so now we have just give you some comparison so given if any function uh, what we have to do is find the CR equations and check where they are satisfied then see whether the function is differentiable and then if it is differentiable it is analytic or not if it is these things are checked then whether there are any singular points or not okay. so first say take function fz is equal to z cube it's a polynomial function okay so you'll find that uh, they will always satisfy the CR equations for all Z values okay? and uh, because uh, polynomials are continuous their partial derivatives are also polynomial so they are continuous CR equations are satisfied so the function is differentiable everywhere and uh, because the function is differentiable everywhere so it is analytic everywhere so it is a entire function and uh, so there is no singular point okay say so take uh, another example uh, fc is equal to x square plus y square plus 2 i x y okay find the partial derivatives u with x u with y they are 2 x and 2 y find partial derivatives of uh, v with x which is 2y and partial derivative of v with y which is 2x okay so you'll find that uh, uh, the cr equations these will be satisfied only when y is 0 okay so that means they are satisfied only along the points on the x-axis okay so because the partial derivatives are also polynomials so partial derivatives are continuous and they are uh, satisfying CR equation along x-axis so the function is differentiable only along the x-axis okay and because the function is differentiable only along the line so on those uh, any point on this line if we draw neighborhood there are points outside the line where function derivative is not there okay so there is a uh, no point at which the function will be analytic so here this function is nowhere analytic okay so again say polynomial u and polynomial v okay and uh, it is a nowhere analytic function so there is no singularity because for singularity 
in the neighborhood uh, the function has to be an array okay uh, maybe one last example say function is real z okay so real z means fz is given only x okay so these equations uh, are not satisfied because uh, u is x and v is 0 and u derivative x is 1 and v derivative y is 0 so well, first uh, CR equation first ux is equal to vy is not satisfied okay? and if CR equation is not satisfied at any point z then there is no derivative okay? so function is not differentiable at any point and if it is not differentiable it is not analytic okay? so it is nowhere analytic and if it is nowhere analytic there cannot be any singular point okay? if you have any questions you can write in the comment box do like these video lectures and share them with your friends. Have a good time.